Thanks, Taylor. Now to mounting concerns about the economy. Rising inflation is hitting Americans very hard. The Federal Reserve expected to hike interest rates once again. It's possibly the biggest amount in nearly 30 years to help slow inflation. The president addressing the crisis today. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest. As many American families struggle with rising costs on everything from food and rent to gas and electricity. What's costing you the most right now? The gas, the food, um, the electric, of course, has gone up too. Everything costs and more. Everything costs more. The Federal Reserve expected to hike interest rates three quarters of a percent, the highest jump in nearly three decades. Everyone can agree that this inflation uh, is very painful and it has to come down. So the only way of doing that is getting those interest rates up and slowing the growth rate in the economy. But that means people will also be shelling out more for credit cards, car loans and mortgages. I don't know how working people are going to be able to afford medicine, groceries, gasoline, car payments, mortgage. I don't know. In Minnesota, more and more people seeking help at this food bank. Got three kids, two teenagers and a young one, so it anything helps. We barely make it and I get paid pretty good at my job. Growing fears America could be heading into a recession. The Labor Department reporting producer prices surged 10.8 percent in May from a year earlier. Those prices reflect inflation before it reaches consumers. Wall Street reacting, the S&P 500, which is tied to most 401ks, officially in bear market territory. The stock market is suffering through a very bad case of indigestion because inflation has been surprisingly high and persistent. The president promising to help. He says his administration is still tapping into oil reserves and working on getting grain out of Ukraine to address the food crisis. But he also blamed Republicans for blocking his proposals to bring down prices on things like drugs and child care. Republicans in Congress are doing everything they can to stop my plans to bring down costs on ordinary families. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.